Okay, we are here in the Volfoni booth at uh, Show East. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Matt Gerlich. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? I think we'll talk about some of the advantages of our new Smart Crystal Cinema Polarizer. Okay. Which luckily has been approved by Disney and other major studios as recently as a few months ago, 2012. Okay. And it's been in the market since July as well. And we're having success with it around the world. People are looking for a affordably priced, excellent quality passive solution. Okay. What, what is what is the price for this unit? Uh, it's about eighteen thousand six hundred. Okay. And we work with integrators around the world as well. So fortunately, we, we have a good network. I think developing of both support and sales. Okay. So what are what are some of the key specs and, and features of this one? Unfortunately, our, our R&D team has really put a lot of work into this, and a lot of it comes down to the liquid crystal that you use, mm -hmm. which is of the highest caliber. There are some other companies in the market that use a different solution, but we're sure. confident ours is amongst the best, which is perhaps why it's gone through such rigorous testing by the studios. Okay. And then furthermore, as far as high frame rate, everybody's concerned justifiably with The Hobbit coming down the pipe. Yes. I know Warner Brothers and others are very pleased that our system performs the highest caliber on HFR. Um, again, some, I don't think some of our competitors can say that with complete comfort. Okay. And that's going to become an issue for them to resolve as the market shakes out. So the Hobbit's going to be uh, 48 frames, uh, double flash, so that means you need a refresh rate on the, on the modulator of 192 hertz. Now, um, uh, I suspect everyone will say they can modulate at 192 hertz, um, but what happens um, if uh, to the performance when you go from 144 to 192, for example? I think they'll have to speak to their performance. But sure. Luckily, ours surface switching technology is 192 to 200, so there will be no appreciable difference. It'll it'll look as it's supposed to look and okay. as the director intended. Okay. That depends on your projector and the bulb, and sure. the throw, etc. But luckily, the testing we've gone through in both our active and our passive solution would both been approved by the studios in this regard. Okay, but in, in general, if they have, if com if there's a uh, an issue, it would be loss of light, loss of color, loss of uh, efficiency, exactly those kind of things. It just it, it won't be the way the director intended it to be on the screen, which I think many projectionists and theater owners now can attest to. That's a very big concern. Okay. The studio is spending a lot of money to get this technology out there. Gotcha. Okay, so you've got the passive uh, polarizing modulator. You also got glasses that go with that. Yeah, luckily, again, we've spent serious time and research developing what we think is a terrific product for the market. Uh, there are different tiers of glasses that are priced accordingly, mm -hmm. and exhibitors can do as they see fit. Fortunately, around the world, we get a wonderful reception for these and the other tiers that we have. And I'll tell you, you know, some people claim they don't enjoy wearing glasses. I think part of that's because some companies, again, haven't put the kind of R&D we have into the user experience, yeah. which you want to make as comfortable as possible so they keep coming back. Yeah, they're very uh, flexible and uh, kid-proof, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, some kids couldn't really have their way with them, but in general, they're going to stand up to the test. That's great. Thanks very much, Matt. My pleasure, Chris. Thank you.